Often in mathematics, we need our students to learn a specific skill or to carry out a series of steps in a given order. For example, order of operations. Here's an item from the seventh grade release test on order of operations. When simplifying the following, using order of operations, which operations should be performed first? Clearly, the correct answer is B. But an extremely large number of students in Virginia who were presented with this item selected answer D. Clearly, they don't have the order of operations sealed firmly in their mind. Now, one way to teach the order of operations is to have students practice simplifying expressions on paper. But another method that also works is to have the students write the rules for the order of operations. Because when students have the words to write it, write the rules in their own words, then they, we know that they have the words to think through the rules while they're performing just such operations. In your classroom, the only thing a teacher needs to do is create novel situations to get the students to write those rules. For example, a homework assignment might be to get your students to write their parents a letter explaining what the rules for the order of operations are. Or perhaps you'd have the entire class write a letter to the upcoming class telling them what the order of operations are that they'll be learning next year and to keep, keep a lookout for little tricks that can kind of trip you up and, and get the rules wrong when you're carrying them out. One specific example of a writing to learn activity for order of operations, I like to call the order of operations media campaign. Instructions and a possible scoring rubric appear in the resource section at the bottom of this web page. But here's an example of a final product done by a student in that media campaign. She decided to spread the word about the order of operations by borrowing from the Got Milk campaign. And so she took a bunch of milk cartons and created panels for those milk cartons. The girl began with the first milk carton where she explained the first rule, which was for grouping symbols. Then she moved to a second milk carton to explain the rule for using exponents. She used a third milk carton to explain when you use multiplication and division, and the fourth carton for the rule on addition and subtraction. Finally, she summed them up on a milk carton and called it got order and summed up all the rules. As you can see, Using writing in the mathematics classroom is not only effective, but it can be a lot of fun.